Hey there, guys. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Sons Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. I took a couple days off from the videos, but now I am back because the Phoenix Suns news never stops. So if I am late on some of these Phoenix Suns topics, that is the reason why. But let's just go ahead and dive right into the video, you guys. There was an article that was written by Melissa Rollin, a Fox Sports NBA writer. And just so you guys know, I made a video a couple weeks ago talking about some of this stuff that was mentioned in the article, and you guys really did support that video, and I do appreciate it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and read you guys the entire article, but you're going to kind of read you guys some of my biggest takeaways here, and I really do want you guys to go read this article and go support it. I'll put the link down below in the description. So let's start off with some of the key quotes from this article as it's written. Kevin Durant has seen the rumors that he's unhappy in Phoenix, and they're upsetting to him. Kevin Durant said, and I quote, I don't want to get traded. I'm not frustrated because Brad was injured. I wasn't frustrated because of the role players on the team. That stuff was ignorant to me. You know what I'm saying? Close quote. I don't know why, but this next part is probably my favorite part from the entire article. Kevin Durant goes on to say, and I quote, I love that we're struggling almost because we can learn from it and get better and move forward from it. Obviously, I don't love struggling, but I like finding good things out of winning basketball games. The more film we watch, the more pride we take. The tougher it is, the better we'll become from it. That's my mentality the whole time. Close quote. Kevin Durant went on to say, Nobody wants to call me great. They want to call me all these other words. Insecure, miserable, bad teammate. That's what's going to get people paid for the articles they write. They can't write, quote, KD is such a student of the game, or he's a great teammate, or he loves basketball. Nobody wants to hear that stuff when it comes to me, close quote. And you guys, my biggest takeaway from this article is Kevin Durant does not want to get traded. Let me repeat that just in case you missed it. Kevin Durant does not want to get traded, and he is not going to get traded. And you guys can call me biased for this, but another big takeaway from this is whether you love or you hate KD, I truly do believe that Kevin Durant is misunderstood. That is my personal opinion. I do believe that he is frustrated or was frustrated and he needed somebody to talk to and vent to and maybe Melissa Rollin from Fox Sports that interview caught him at the right time and I'm glad that he was able to get this off of his chest and hopefully now we can move forward. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts, comments, and opinions Opinions down below. Let me know what you guys think of the article. And once again, the article is linked down below in the description. Make sure to go read it and check it out. And I'm sorry I didn't make a video about this sooner, but we got some really good news that the Phoenix Suns are 99% healthy outside of Damian Lee, who I'll talk about in a minute. Phoenix Suns head coach Frank Vogel said that Bull Bull, Nazir Little, and Yudoka Azabuki are back, meaning that the Phoenix Suns are fully healthy for the first time going into a game this season outside of Damian Lee. And Dwayne Rankin from the Arizona Republic gave us a little bit of an update on Damian Lee. He goes on to say that Damian Lee is rehabbing the injury, working his way back, but is still a ways away from returning as the hope is he'll be back near the end of the regular season. So in a way, you guys, the Phoenix Suns are fully healthy for the first time this season, and that is really good news. I am hoping and praying, fingers crossed, that we can continue to stay healthy, that the big three can get more games under their belt, and then we can really start fully judging this team. Hopefully this means that good things are coming our way for the the Phoenix Suns because the Phoenix Suns really need it and I really hope and pray that we can continue to stay healthy. And shout out to John from the Suns Jam Session Podcast who had a really good tweet about the Phoenix Suns Big 3. The tweet goes on to say, six games played together, 108 minutes plus 23 for all you plus minus fans out there, 53% from the field, 34.5% from three, 70 assists on 108 field goals made, three assists to turnover ratio, 
Give it some time. I don't know why, but I really liked that tweet. And shout out to Stat Moose, who had a great tweet about Grayson Allen, who is the only player with 10 plus points per game on 50, 40, 90 shooting this season. Shout out to Grayson Allen, man. He has been great. And I couldn't find the audio of it, but Yusuf Nurkic had a really good tweet that I saw on Twitter. Once again, shout out to Dwayne Rankin for this. Yusuf Nurkic said, and I quote, We're not going to be perfect. I'm not going to be perfect. As long as the intention is to win, I'm cool with it. I'm trying to be a Phoenix Suns for the rest of my life. I'm not tripping about one game. Close quote. And I absolutely love that from Yusuf Nurkic. He has been nothing but a professional since he got here. He seems like a really good teammate who really supports his team. So big shout out to Yusuf Nurkic. And finally, you guys, former Phoenix Sun Bismack Biombo was waived by the Memphis Grizzlies yesterday. They have been plagued by injuries, and that is an understatement. And I'm assuming they are probably going to tank for the rest of this lost season. Again, I'm just assuming there. Now, who who knows if the Phoenix Suns are even interested in bringing back Busy, especially since I believe our roster is completely full. But I absolutely love Biz Mac Biombo, and I would not mind bringing him back. Let me know what you guys think about that. So did I miss anything? I really hope I didn't. Please stay tuned for more Phoenix Suns content. Like I mentioned, you guys, I took a couple of days off just to kind of rest and recharge, but I am back. So stay tuned for more Phoenix Suns content. I promise you guys I will catch up and pump out more Phoenix Suns content to you guys. And I really do appreciate all of the support. Do me a huge favor, you guys. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Win or lose, Phoenix Suns for life. And I'll see you guys next time. Go Suns. Sounds good. Appreciate it.